Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Long time, no favorites post. So it has been three months since I've done one. So today's video is going to be some of my favorite things from February, March, and April, 2020. Um, missing February was intentional on my part because I took a break from vlogging. Um, and then March was I was posting other stuff on my blog and then now it's time for April favorites. So um, this is probably like a little bit longer than normal just because it's three months but I tried to not make it like in insanely long and some of this stuff you'll be able to tell is like from February when it was like winter you know like um, but now it's May <laughs> so I hope you guys are doing well and I hope you and your family are safe and healthy um, so it's been like things have changed greatly since uh, February when I started this list um, but let's just get right into it so if I'm looking down I'm looking at my list uh, let's start with entertainment so the first thing is the Imagineering story uh, which is a show on Disney plus this is like one of my favorite things that I've watched on Disney plus just because that is like some of my like that's what I love about Disney like the history and like the seeing of the like the behind the scenes seeing the parks being built and the his like just all the stuff that went on um through stuff like that um and it's just really interesting like the different CEOs and stuff like that um but if you find that stuff interesting like definitely check this out um it talks to like a lot of different Imagineers um about like the making of different attractions and stuff like that um I did leave the room I think in the last episode because there were spoilers for Rise of the Resistance which I did not want to see so <laughs> I left for that part but everything else was um I was good with um and my husband just let me know when to come back so but definitely would recommend it if you like that stuff also going to apologize if you hear any hammering or drilling or anything like that um, in the background because they're my husband and my dad are working on stuff in the basement which is where I am and I'm it's a beautiful day outside that as soon as this is done I'm gonna go sit outside so I don't want to tell them to stop um, but hopefully you won't be able to hear anything okay and then the second thing is Tiger King yep we watched it we binged it um, I like it went a completely different direction than I thought it was going to um, let me know what your thoughts on it were on it. Um, I will say that I think it was a little bit overhyped, um, like in terms of Netflix, um, it's on Netflix by the way, um, in terms of Netflix shows that I think like the hype was appropriate, I would say Making a Murderer is, I liked that better, but this was still very interesting, um, and like as... I was like scared um because I remember like going to see it and it or like looking because I kept hearing about it and I was like what is this and it said like am animal cruelty and I am very sensitive to that so I was like Ooh, I don't know if I can watch it and then I saw it in a Facebook group I'm in somebody was like I saw this it's like can I watch it and people were like yeah it's pretty much fine um there were some scenes that, like I couldn't watch and like <laughs> I'm a vegetarian so looking at like the meat that they feed the tigers like was disgusting to me but um watch it if you need something to escape into and if you haven't already I would recommend it because what else are you gonna do right now <laughs> um so that is it for entertainment next I have books I have four different books so when everything started happening um with the coronavirus like I was very overwhelmed that I couldn't like focus enough to read um and generally like I'm always reading something so that was really hard for me there were probably only a few weeks that I couldn't read but now I've gotten back into it and I'm pretty much reading a book a week now um which is like close to my normal pace um if you want to know like what I'm reading um I'll leave my Goodreads account link down below um and then also my Instagram because I've been posting like as I've been reading the books um, and I have a highlight for 2020 books. So first is Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reed, Jenkin Reads. Um, 
and I really liked it. Um, the author was supposedly inspired or like listened to rumors by Fleetwood Mac while she was writing it, but it reads like a music documentary. Like you can completely see it set up in your mind as you're reading it, which was really interesting. And I think it's gonna be a show on Amazon Prime at some point, but like there are basically like the full album, like she wrote the lyrics for all the songs. So it'll be really interesting to see how they do that and like how the music sounds and stuff like that. But I really liked it and then it like led me to l listening to rumors, um, which I don't like, I knew some songs, but I'd never like listened to the album before. Um, so I enjoyed that. Next is The Turn of the Key by Ruth Ware. I think this was the last book of hers that I had to read. Now I think she has another one, so I have to add that to my list. But I enjoyed this one a lot. It was very like dark, um, like a there's someone in the house kind of thing. Um, and like smart home thing but it was really good and the ending like left it up to interpretation like it doesn't explicitly say what happened so it's like do you think this happened or do you think this happened but like one of the twists like left me like I was in a room by myself reading and I was like what huh <laughs> to like no one but it's been a while since the book has gotten me to do that so I would recommend it Next is The Arrangement by Robin Harding, and I have read, I think, two of her books, so I kind of just like put this list on, this book on my list, being like, I've read her other books, I'll read this. So I had no idea what, is, what it was about going into it, and it's about like the sugar bowl, like, so it's about this like young woman who's in New York and she's struggling for money, so she gets herself a sugar daddy and just like that relationship and then stuff like goes down and you're like, whoa. But having no expectations or not knowing like what it was about, it was really good. <laughs> so I enjoyed it um, and it did like twist. So, and then last is Yes Please by Amy Poehler. So I don't read a ton of like memoirs, like people writing about their own life, but I feel like the last couple of months, like I have another one that's on hold or that is like coming up, um, but I've read quite a few lately. Um, but this one was interesting. I love Amy Poehler. It was worth it just to read the chapter about parks and recreation. Totally made me want to watch it again. And then of course the special happened this past week, which was like perfect. And if you love Parks and Rec, go watch it if you haven't already. Um, but it was interesting to read about her life. Like I can't say that I knew a lot about her or like where she's from or anything like that. Hearing kind of behind the scenes stuff about SNL and just her relationships with like Seth Meyers and Tina Fey and stuff like that. It was really interesting, um, but yeah. If you love Parks and Recreation, I would recommend it solely for that chapter, but it was pretty good otherwise. Okay, the next category is clothing. And the first thing that I'm gonna talk about is this sweater. So this was a February pick when it was winter. Um, but this is from Zoffel, but I got it on Amazon and I figured it was probably potentially safer to buy it on Amazon because of the return policy. Um, but it has this cool detail on the bottom that just kind of like twists. It is a little bit weird like when you're wearing a jacket or something because it makes you feel a bit bigger in the stomach but it's really comfortable it's really warm um so like right now it's may and i'm like okay um but and then it has like kind of longer detail on the sleeves but it is a knit sweater that's very warm and cozy and comfortable but like has a nice fancy detail on it you guys i put leggings on for when i sat up and showed you this so that I wasn't wearing sweatpants. <laughs> Which brings me to my next item, <laughs> sweatpants. Because I've been working at home for almost six weeks now. Um, so like, yeah, I'm wearing sweatpants most of the time. And uh, so these are Roots sweatpants. I've had these for quite a few years now, like probably two or three years, but they have held up so well that I wanted to mention them. Um, like there's not a lot of pilling or anything like that. They're like thicker. They're so comfortable and they just are definitely worth the money. Um, so I don't know if that specific pair will be available, but I'll link something similar down below. 
um, but comfortable. Um, and yeah, they just have held up really well. So like, what is, what are you wearing in quarantine if you're working from home? I feel like that's like the realistic, like, yes, we are in quarantine. Also, like, this is what my hair has been for most of the time. Like I've been not trying to like style my hair or anything like that. This is the first time I've put on makeup in like quite a few weeks that I feel like a human. Um, but yeah, okay. Next category is makeup, which like obviously I have been reading or wearing a lot of. Um, so I do have like a hair product in here too. Um, the first one is the, the lipstick that I'm wearing, which is from Tarte. It's called Rum Punch. And it's just a really nice kind of like slightly maybe darker than my normal lip color, but I really like it and it's really creamy. Oh man, my battery is gonna die. Okay. Where was I? It's now been like a half an hour. Um, the Tarte lipstick. It's like fairly close to my natural color, but like also just enhances it a little bit. It's smooth, it's creamy, um, and like this little tube. I think I got it in some sampler um, like a while ago, but I actually like having smaller sizes of lipstick and lip products because you get like more variety with like still having a ton of product that like you would use, it would take a really long time to use up um, that I like redeeming Sephora points for samples and stuff like this um, just to be able to change it up with it without investing a lot of money or in some cases getting stuff for free. I think that this was in a kit that I got for Christmas a few years ago but it was like a special through the like sale in November that I got my sister to get for me but um this is the lipstick that i was wearing quite frequently when i was wearing makeup every day but haven't worn in a little while but i'm wearing it right now and then the next thing is the kristen s air dry cream um so are you focused um so this is frizz calming, shine restoring, softening and smoothing, and time saving. Um, so it's a uh, little cream that you just like shake it up. Um, and so you air dry freshly cleaned hair about halfway um, and then put work it into your hair and it's just supposed to like speed up drying time but reduce frizz and stuff like that. So I've been like kind of of two minds during this time at home. Like I'm trying not to use heat styling with my hair. I think I've only straightened my hair maybe once and that was like the last time I filmed videos which was a few weeks ago. Um, but I've just been wearing it in this bun and so what I've been doing is letting my hair dry using this um, and then just like putting it in a bun in the day so that it's out of my way and that I'm not like touching it all the time because um, I have quite thin hair <laughs> um, and then the other mind is that I want to like embrace my natural curl and like do that all the times to like improve it um, and I use the Kristen S curl I can't remember what it's called I talked about it in a favorites before the curl cream um so I've kind of gone like back and forth but like I feel like my hair looks more polished like this whereas once it's like scrunched I can like wet it again to scrunch it again but then it kind of gets like frizzier and frizzier um and I'm trying to also like condition my hair to go further between washes um but I have liked this product and I do think that it does a good job. Like if if you are just want to let your natural hair do its thing, um, I think that this is a good way um, just to like add a little something to it. Um, but it's nice and it's like her products aren't very expensive but also like you really don't need a lot so it would last a really really long time. But that is what I've been using in my hair like now when it's just natural okay two more categories to go now first is recipes so this is like the cookie recipe this is like probably some of the best cookies that i've ever made and it is 
a recipe that I found through the Anna edit. Um, and but she it's like a special bakery style cookie that she tried to like replicate but oh my gosh I will put in a picture of the cookies like me breaking it in half like they are so good they are so big I doubled the recipe and ended up with way too many cookies but they were so good that I was like take them into work like give them to Ethan's parents like <laughs> I was like get them out of the house because I will eat them all but they are milk chocolate and hazelnut cookies that you mix and then you shape them into balls and then put the like you scoop them and then put them in the freezer or the fridge sorry the neighbor's dog is barking um you put them in the fridge or the freezer to let them set up so that they stay really tall they are so good if you're looking for something to bake during this quarantine do that because they are delicious and like I want to bake them again but I also don't because then I'll eat all of them <laughs> but they were really good and then the next thing um is a homemade everything but the bagel seasoning so this is kind of what it looks like I think we got the wrong garlic uh minced garlic to start so that's what the like red is um and I think it's like salted or something but I'm in Canada so we don't have Trader Joe's but I've heard of this Trader Joe's everything but the bagel seasoning and it's really expensive to get it in Canada and I was like I can make it for cheaper so it is sesame seeds black sesame seeds poppy seeds minced onion and minced garlic I believe like dried minced onion and garlic I'm pretty sure that's it and like I'll put the recipe that I've been using down below but like we I made like one times the recipe and we went through that really fast so then I did two times the recipe and it fit in this and it's been a couple weeks but I've been using it on um, just like fried eggs um, I made some bagels and so we use them on the bagels um, I've heard that they're like I've seen on Pinterest like potatoes with them uh, and like chicken I don't eat chicken but um, there's probably a million things that you can do with it but it's just been a nice like Thing to add to your eggs just to add some flavor and so funny story if you don't know my sister is in a wheelchair um, and it's not verbal but uh, like she she understands everything you say and can get her point across and there was a day she was having eggs and we couldn't figure out what she wanted she wanted this on it, but like there was something and we were like I don't know and then my mom ended up figuring it out but she likes it so um, it's very easy to make we got some ingredients off of like Amazon for some from the grocery store but like you can make it in bulk and it's not that expensive but it is delicious okay last category is priceless and the only thing that I can think of that's priceless right now is that everyone in my family is healthy during this very weird scary time um so we have not like it's been almost six weeks um, that we've been like home and my sister is in the at-risk category so we are really trying to like not go anywhere that we don't have to um, just to keep her safe um, but we've been doing well at that um, and then also like just my extended family is safe my husband's extended family is safe and I think that that's priceless um for sure and I'm very grateful that we're in that situation so that is it for the past three months of favorites I hope you guys enjoyed today's video let me know what has been your favorites like in quarantine or um while you're at home or if there's anything that you've enjoyed in the last few months um trying to think of what's coming up I will have I think a vlog next week um which should be exciting um and yeah but it's been like nice to kind of like slowly get back into the routine of doing posts and videos like this so um but i hope you guys are well and i hope you continue to stay safe and stay home if you can um and i will see you in my next video thank you so much for watching bye